Well, welcome, welcome, welcome to this special Rosh Hashanah edition of More Bad News. Pardon me while I fix up my death shroud. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, this is this is my. I'll be buried in this. This is really this is what this is what dead people, uh, Jewish dead people, like to wear. <laughs> and this is uh, the second day of Rosh Hashanah. Uh, and so this is going to be a short take, uh, no script, uh, unscripted. Uh, I just wanted to uh, wish everybody a, uh, a happy uh, and healthy new year. I, I hope the new year goes well for you. Um, and of course, I don't have to go through last week. We realized that it's not only more bad news, but the but it is uh, escalating uh, more bad news. So that the <clears throat> uh, flooding in Libya now, it's, uh, what, 40,000 people supposedly missing, 10,000, 11,000 confirmed dead, uh, 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 earthquakes in Morocco, uh, in the mountains. And of course, and the, 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 the people who are most innocent, least to blame for any of this, are the ones who are the first uh, to suffer. Um, it reminds me of the uh, gas chambers at Auschwitz, where <clears throat> they would drop the gas in, and it would rise from the floor up, so that uh, uh, at the end, uh, when they opened the doors up, uh, you'd have a, a pyramid, and uh, the the first to die were on the bottom. They were the the uh, the, the weak, uh, the children, uh, the the the, the uh, most vulnerable. They died first. And then the others, in order to try to escape the rising smoke, would pile on top of them. And so you'd have this pyramid. And on the very top of the pyramid was the last person to die, who climbed up to the top and took the last breath that he could. Now, he wasn't the lucky one. The lucky ones were the ones who died first, because they didn't have to go through this horror. Uh, so. Karen and I uh, were in Sheboygan, Michigan, north of here. We were on Lake Huron. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And we rode our bikes and we hiked and we had a wonderful time. And then we came back here. And just as we arrived back, uh, there uh, was a report of an explosion in downtown Sheboygan at the depot, which contained all kinds of toxic chemicals stored in it. And it, it was billowing out black toxic smoke. They, uh, it was an, an environmental emergency. They said everybody should uh, shelter in place, close your windows and don't breathe. You know, it's a, God help you if you don't have a Corsi fan because this was very toxic smoke. Uh, and they closed all the roads so that um, we wouldn't have been able to get out had this occurred while we were there. And uh, so we're driving down the highway and I'm looking over my right shoulder at this incredible catastrophe that happened just behind us. We just escaped that. And uh, it reminds me of, you know, we went to Canada. Now, we had went to Canada uh, a few years ago in order to say goodbye to the glaciers. We were originally going to go to Glacier National Park in the United States, in Montana, but that glacier was gone by the time we wanted to go and visit. So we went to the Columbia Glacial Field, the Columbia Ice Field instead, the largest inland ice field in the world, and thank God it was still there. But it seems that when we arrived, the fire started. Uh, we went to the top of Whistler Mountain, 7,000 feet up. We didn't climb it. This is a big cable. You 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 climb the, there's a part that you do climb. You take three or four steps and then you stop and you, and then you take another three or four steps because you're really high up. And when you get to the top of the mountain, you look out and you see the catastrophe unfolding before you right over your shoulder. So that is life in the world today. Uh, uh, Lila is complaining here. She wants some attention. So I'm going to wish you a good new year and I'm going to say goodbye. I would blow my chauffeur, but you, you really can't hear it uh, with this. Uh, uh, you can hear Lila, but you can't hear the chauffeur. It just blows it away. Uh, and um, so, oh, oh, this is, oh, this is Ellie over here. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye. Have a good new year. I'm going to upload uh, a... Um, a little video of Ellie, uh, plus this one, and uh, I'll see you next week with more bad news. <laughs>